I'm going to show you the tool called the accordion, which allows you to add a hint system to your slide. So I'm going to start with an example here. So let's say the students have these two puzzles to solve and they just can't work out what all these numbers mean. So they can click the little stuck button and now they can choose which of the two puzzles they need help with. So let's go with puzzle one. And now they've got the options between looking at hint one, which is a more general hint, or hint two, which gives them a bit more detail or the solution uh, straight away. Or if they are okay with puzzle one, but they just need puzzle two, they can do the same here. Obviously, this means the students can use this to cheat if you're giving them the answer. So you should only use this if it's not part of a, a competition or a test. Um, but it's quite a good way of helping students if you want them to work on a task, for example, as homework, and you want to make sure that they don't get too frustrated with it. Uh, but at the same time, not give away too much help for those students who maybe like a bit more of a challenge. So how we do it, um, here are the explanations and you can see it is a bit complicated and you've got quite a long code there. Um, but once you know how it works, um, it should be straightforward. So the first thing we need to do is add this blue template slide to your slide by using add page and then finding it in this presentation. Um, so I'm going to use this one and um, then you need to add your button. So we'll do a little hint button here. Um, we just put hint on it, hint like here. So um, you need to group the two. That's important that you do that before you put the code in, otherwise the code gets lost. Now I want to copy and paste this code. And I'm going with the more complex one because I want several layers of hints. If you just want one hint, then you can go with the shorter one here. Okay, so I click on my hunt, hint button. Now I click the link button here. And I want to open in a new window. So this is empty. So now I need to go to the code view. And that's where I put in my code. And now I need to change the... Um, the details. So instead of puzzle name one, I could call it exercise one, depending what it's called on your on your page. Um, then, OK, I want to keep this as hint one. And an explanation here would be um, look in your book, for example, then hint two on page 13. So getting more helpful. Um, actually, this needs to be still hint, hint two, and in the part where it says explanation two. So this is when I need to put page 13. And then I might want to change the last one to solution. So students can check if they got it right. Um, and then we say, I don't know, whatever my solution is. So hopefully now if I save this, I go in preview mode and click hint. I can now see here exercise one has two hints and a solution. So I can look at hint one, hint two, and the solution. If I want to add more puzzles, um, or because I've got maybe um, three exercises on the page, I can just copy and paste it several times. So I can just copy and paste the whole lot again and add this to the bottom of this. So again, I go to the code. Um, just make sure that it has all the punctuation there, this bracket. So now I could then change this to exercise two and so on. Um, two, let's write this out. So save. So now if I look at it, it should give me the two exercises. But the second one at the moment doesn't have anything in it except for explanation one, two, three. And the same way, obviously, you can delete parts as well. So if you want just one hint for the exercise, uh, just take out the bottom part here where it says hint two, hint three. And yeah, so you can add as many puzzles as you want by just deleting, uh, copying and pasting the whole thing. And you can add extra hints and extra ex explanations by just copying one paragraph here and changing it.